Let's listen to Bill Ackland as he reads from his book, Talking with God. Today's prayer is entitled, For Those Nearest to Me. And the text is found in Ephesians 3, 14 and 15. I always bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has named the whole family of God in heaven and on earth. And the introductory thought, we all commence life as part of a family, sometimes for only a very short time. But for most of us, our family is intact through the years until we pass away and another generation takes our place. Family is one of the very best things we have as humans. And now we shall pray. Dear Father, the only one who completely understands, I thank you that in your great plan for the human race, you put us in families. Family, the very word denotes belonging, caring, trusting and loving. Not that is all is sweetness and light all the time, for we are human after all. Upsets, misunderstandings and unfairness and harsh words mar the ideal you have in mind for us. Still, apart from those families where chaos is the norm, where dysfunction, abuse and hurt mark every day, there is something precious in close blood ties that bind us together and provide a sense of unity and purpose, a link with certain people that no one else can share because we are parents and children together. Perhaps the time when children grow up, leave home and start to make their way in the world is the hardest time for parents. Then we who have given life to these unique and much loved people know things will never be the same again when they are gone from our home. It's a sort of death, a seed sowing from which new families grow and the joys and the tears that parents know will be our children's lot too, in similar but different ways to our own. Dear Father, when hurts happen between us, we realise that we, your earthly children, have hurt you, and for this we are so very, very sorry. We know that causing or experiencing pain in the family is something we wish had never happened, just as we have hurt you in what we say or what we do, in denying in complaining, in disobeying. We know you forgive us when we are truly sorry, but the healing takes time and the enemy of us all tries to protract the guilt, the remorse, the unforgiving of ourselves and of others. In like manner, from a human point of view, some hurts in the family take a long time to heal, depending, of course, on the goodwill of or otherwise of those affected at the time. So, dear Lord, I pray for a forgiving spirit, an attitude always of reconciliation. Hurts will then be kept to a minimum, as far as is humanly possible, and lessened through the power of the Holy Spirit. In our elder brother's name I pray. Amen. To obtain your copy of Talking With God, Written by Bill Ackland. Give us a call in Australia on 02 4973 3456 or send an email to radio at 3abnaustralia.org.au.